Hi everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sari, and you are watching my knitting podcast videos. And also, Luna, with her um, usual routine of coming here to uh, purr next to me, she knows that I will be sitting here for a while now when I'm filming, so she's always here, even though you can't see her. She's probably here somewhere very close to me and uh, taking the advantage of me sitting still. Ah, in case she doesn't want me to knit. Well, anyway, uh, in today's episode I will be sharing um, what I have on my needles and also I'll show you um, some new yarns that I have and, and what I'm planning to work on next and I've been trying to um, be more of a monogamous knitter. Like, I think I talked about this in my previous episode um, but I usually I have uh, quite a lot of um, works in process that, or I'm a, like when I, when I cast on things I'm like this like multiple cast owner or how, how should you call it um, I usually, in a very short period of time, I cast on maybe four or even five new things and, and then I work on them and usually um, I also when I, when I start to get things done, I get quite many things done at the same time so I keep um, rotating between those four to five a different uh, projects, but lately I've been trying to um, focus more on um, only one or or two projects, usually two, because I need something small that is uh, portable for, for the bus rides and so on. And then um, if I'm knitting on a sweater, maybe at, at at the beginning it's uh, small enough to take with me but but when it starts to become bigger then uh, I need something smaller either a new <laughs> pullover or something smaller like a hat or or a pair of socks so I've been trying to focus more on working on just one or two projects that doesn't, doesn't mean that I don't have um, more than one or two weeks at the moment but but instead of uh, rotating between four to five whips, um, I've been trying to concentrate uh, more on just one or one or two projects at a time. And weirdly enough, um, if you focus on only one thing, uh, you get it done quicker um, than you would if you were working on five things at the same time. Um, that's something I have noticed that during the, the during the uh, past few months. So I think I have quite a lot of things to show you uh, that I have done, and not so many things that I have on my needles. Actually, I only have two two things here that are on my needles. That doesn't mean that I don't have more whips uh, waiting for me, but like active whips at the moment, like things that I'm actively working on. Um, I have only only two at the moment and I should um, cast on for something smaller because I don't have any small projects at the moment but um, I'm pretty confident that I will um, bind off one project today I'll show it to you in a, in a minute and that, that will mean that um, I have a, a slot opening for, for a new whip uh, maybe I will start with things that are finished and then I'll show you what I'm working on and lastly I'll show you my, my knitting plans. And start with the ballad pullover. I think I have shown you this one quite a few times but this is now at the point that it's being test knitted and the pattern will come out in um, a few few weeks. So uh, at the beginning of October. So I'm really excited about this one. It's a really beautiful um, greyish uh, salmon, white salmon color. And this is 
worked in the room Naturas uh, Sirena base, which is a chunky weight, iron weight yarn, and the colorway is called Quartz, and you can see here. So this is the ballad pullover. Um, you might remember I worked um, like at Poet's uh, Little Sister socks, uh, the ballad socks last uh, I think it was in April that I worked on them and I really liked the, the um, lace pattern that I created for, for the socks so I wanted to use it uh, for, for a pullover. I've been meaning to make a chunky weight um, version of, of the poet pullover for a while but because the poet pattern is 20 stitches wide um, trying to get it to go around a chunky pullover is a bit hard, especially if you want to, to make more than one size for it. So that's why I decided to scale down the, the, the poet um, pattern, so this uh, lace pattern. So this ballad um, lace pattern is only 10 stitches wide, so that makes it easier um, to use um, on, on different um, projects, but this is a new pattern that is coming out for me and started at the neck neckline and increased um, for the raglans and then, then worked in the round or it's working in the round almost all the time except for the for the neck um, shaping. That's a really really beautiful pullover. Uh, I absolutely love it and Another pattern that is coming out um, at the end of September or, or very early um, October is my new hat pattern. This is the Armine hat. Uh, Armine is uh, a Finnish word. It means um, something that is um, the dearest to you or, or it could be trusted my, my beloved or my, my dearest or um, or my most beloved, or my dearest, I think that's the, the uh, best translation for, for the word Armine. And this yarn uh, is something I bought this summer uh, when we were in Matilde Dal in southern Finland. And there was this um, alpaca uh, farm and they spun their own alpaca wool yarn. So this is, the yarn is from, from that uh, alpaca farm. Um, Rukin Kehrama in, in Finnish and um, this is their 100% alpaca uh, DK base and the colorway is called Cecilia and I absolutely love this hat, this is like my favorite favorite hat pattern at the moment so it's like this um, very basic ribbed hat and really excited about releasing this pattern soon and one more new pattern coming um, quite soon are these these uh, socks they are now called Hyke season socks um, couldn't come up with the name so I, I asked on Instagram and I absolutely love this uh, suggestion by one of my followers so for these socks, um, I used um, uncommon threads, um, everyday sweaters, also DK weight yarn with 75% um, superwash merino and 25% nylon. This is a different colorway, but I'm planning to use this for socks as well. Um, these are in the colorway called Nutcracker. And I wanted to create something that is um, really simple, so not as elaborate or intricate that I usually make, like all over patterning with small needles and, and so on. Because I've been trying to... Um, uh, or what, what I've been thinking about lately is whether um, the most meaningful thing uh, about designing knitwear is designing something, always something new and something uh, no one has ever seen and coming up with new ways to do things and, and, and so on. And how much it is 
uh, just like um, uh, creating something that is enjoyable. So um, the whole idea started with uh, actually with Petit Knit and the um, I think they're called Sunday socks. They're like very basic um, two by two ribbing uh, socks. And when I saw the pattern, I was almost angry about it. And, um, and I thought it was outrageous that somebody would, would uh, write a pattern for the basic two by two rib ribbed socks. Because that's like the basic sock that every Finn um, learns at school. So uh, everybody in Finland are taught to knit at school and we are taught to knit socks. And the most basic sock that we learn is, is one that has like two by two ribbing. And for, for somebody from Finland to write a pattern for um, a two by two ribbed sock and, and send the pattern and claim it as, claim it as their own, uh, it's like, it, it feels so outrageous to me. Uh, it's kind of like a sacrilege. In a way, it's like taking the most trivial thing ever and passing it on as your own. But that made me think that, okay, um, in Finland everybody is taught how to knit. It doesn't mean that everybody knits or everybody knows how to knit. It's the same way that you're taught many things at school and either it sticks with you or it doesn't. But um, it's not the same for a lot of people around the world. And something that is uh, trivial to me, it's not trivial to somebody else. So why shouldn't I make simple, enjoyable things, like basic things? Why couldn't I do it? So that's something that I've been thinking about a lot lately and I absolutely loved working on these socks. It was so fun to knit them. Um, a few weeks ago uh, we had this like um, knit and wine meeting with some of my knitting friends and I only had like sweaters and stuff like that I had to concentrate on before going there. So I just, okay, okay, so I'm going to cast on something new just quickly so that I have something to, to work there that uh, doesn't really need my concentration. So I, before I left for, for the meet, I cast it on, um, on this sock and I was almost done with, with the leg of the sock um, after our wine and knit and chat. And this felt like just like um, flying off my needles and they were so fun to knit. I kept knitting them even after I came home and, and on the next day and I finished the, the pair of these in just a few days and they were so fun to knit. They were like there was still something happening. There was this cable pattern that um, you make a cable or two every six rounds. So something is happening all the time. So it doesn't get boring. But still, um, it was very relaxing and very uh, pleasant <coughs> to work on this. And that's why I started to think that maybe I'm overthinking the whole um, knitwear designing thing. That um, I'm always trying to to do something that nobody has ever done before. So come up with something that no one has ever seen before and and make something bigger and better and trickier and more beautiful uh, instead of um, trying to work on something that is like really enjoyable. So of course I, I enjoy working on the tricky um, and complicated and challenging things but um, doesn't mean that, uh, that um, simple can't be, be tricky. So, something that I've been thinking about a lot lately and, and I think I will start making uh, more uh, of smaller and I don't want to say basic because I, I don't even think that these are like 
basic they still have um, something something special and they still look like me I think they they look like my style and and uh, something that uh, I would need to look at. I did need them and I did design them and I think they're still true to me but but um, everything doesn't need to be so complicated all the time um, another pattern that I've been working on that uh, fits the same category so it's kind of like a very basic um, raglan top-down pullover but it has a very small detail and it's my Helmi pullover you can see it here so this is a very if you if you take the two lines of bubbles um, away then this is just your average um, uh, raglan, top-down raglan pullover. Uh, I'm calling this Helmi because of the, the lines of bubbles. Um, Helmi is the Finnish word for, for a pearl and it's also the same word if you have like a dew drop then it's cast a helmet, so it's like a dew pearl. So these, these were inspired by um, like droplets of, of water um, on, a, on a more misty morning. And I wanted to create something that is uh, very simple, but there's sti still something, something happening. So that's how this pullover came to be. And this is actually a submission reject. Um, back in the day, about two years ago, two and a half years ago, or what, I can't remember, uh, I made this um, uh, YouTube episode about um, submitting for um, submitting projects for works for um, knitwear publications and being re rejected. And this is actually something that uh, I've been. Uh, submitting to two different places and the, it, the design was uh, rejected on, on both, both occasions. On the first occasion I didn't get to be part of that publication at all. Okay, so it still happens to me. Um, that was I think in probably in um, April or something like that. And and then I resubmitted it uh, in the summer and it didn't get selected that time either but uh, another pattern of mine got selected um, from, from uh, that set so it was, an, <laughs> it was not a complete failure but um, I still absolutely loved this idea and, and, and this uh, design so I decided to work on it on my own. So I contacted uh, Dererum Natura and asked if they uh, wanted to give me uh, yarn support for for this pattern. And let's see if I have. I'm using Dererum Natura's Yulus base for this one and it's a sport weight yarn and the colorway I'm using is called Ofre Blanc so this is a, like a um, natural undyed merino yarn it's really beautiful I actually love working with with the Rero Natura's yarns uh, this is um, maybe the fourth design that I've been making with, with their yarn and it's absolutely it's so nice. So the the ballad pullover was with their Serrano base, which is a thicker base to to this one. Um, this is coming soon for test knitting. So uh, I just have to finish the first sleeve, and then I will uh, write the pattern and send it to my tech editor. And after that, um, I will have the call for test knitters for that one. And I have another pattern that I used. Um, and there were another yarn for this is um, their worsted weight yarn. This is the, the Gilead, and the colorway is uh, I think it was called Caramel or something like that. And I all knitted this already a year ago, and I've been wearing this pullover like a lot. 
But by the time that I was ready to start uh, writing the pattern, it was already um, long in in um, in the spring, and I thought that it's totally the wrong time to release the pattern because this is quite. It's really warm. It's quite thick. It has like this uh, quite high double folded neck and, and it has um, volume sleeves. Although it does have a slightly cropped fit, so that, that's um, the only reason that it's not like totally heavy. Um, but I've been wearing this a lot. It's, it's super nice to, to wear. And this also has like this very minimal patterning, so it has this zigzag um, pattern on at the cuffs and hem and and a neckline and then it has this like um like slightly um spotted how do I say like little knobs uh, pattern on it and I've been trying to um Think whether I should write the pattern for this one. Um, I love it. I absolutely love to wear it, and and I love the pattern. So I was thinking about writing the pattern and having a, having a call for Desniters for this one as well. I've been calling it Siena because of the colorway and because of my love for Italy. So I think everybody knows how much I love Italy. Um, another. I have two more new things to show you, and and then um, I'll continue. Oh, actually, I already showed you one of my whips, so I was going to show you two whips. I only, only have one more whip to show you because I showed you the helmet pullover, and and I have two more uh, finished objects before I, I'll show you to my my next knitting plans. So one more pullover. And so this is the Sawyer pullover. I think in my previous episode I had worked uh, about this much um, of it and now it's ready except that I haven't uh, woven into the yarn ends yet even though I already took some some photos of it but I just like tucked all the, all the yarn ends <laughs> in so nobody sees them but I should, should um, weave in the ends. And this is done in collaboration with a Hedgehog Fibers and I was super happy because I've been fangirling their yarns um, since like forever and they contacted me in the summer and asked if I wanted to try their new base and, and, and design something with it. So this is their new Tweedy base, so it's a DK weight yarn and it's a mix of a new wool, a recycled wool and uh, hedgehog fibers like thread waste, so all the little bits of uh, dyed yarn that they uh, produce during uh, their process uh, gets carted back to um, new and uh, carted back and, and spun to new wool. So this is like kind of like undyed yarn, so it's a uh, beautiful uh, gray and then you can see uh, the, the whole rainbow of, of little speckles all, all over. There are even like some um, gold stellina fibers. So every over here and now, uh, let's see if I can quickly find you some some of the gold gold threads okay, here. Here you can see some gold glitter. So this is what I made with the yarn and I still have a couple of skeins left and because I absolutely love this yarn so I want to use every last bit of it and I was going to make a kids version of the same sweater because um, my son is now five years old so he's still young enough to to say yes to some like mommy and me clothes. I think in a year or a few years he doesn't want to wear clothes similar to, to mine anymore. So um, I kind of want to make like a mommy and me uh, set of, of this pullover. So I, I will be using the, the rest of the skins for a mini me version of this one. So that's why I wanted to have kind of like this uh, unisex name for, for the pullover so that um, 
because the feet of the pullover is also unisex. I don't see any reason why why a man couldn't use use this, and and also I want to, the kids' version to be uh, totally unisex. Um, so that's why I call it Sawyer, and also because of the zigzag patterning that is happening here. So this is now being test knitted and uh, hoping to get it out in uh, very early in November. Super excited about this pattern and, and I know that I will be wearing this this one a lot. And the last thing, this is kind of like the chunky sister to, to Armine hat that I showed you. So this one, this one. So I made this, I just wanted to have something quick and fun and and, and something that uh, I can get really quickly off my needles. So I got some um, crazy sexy wool from Wool and the Gun and, and this made this um, chunky, chunky out of my hat. And I was wondering um, if you would want me to write a pattern for this hat. It started with um, a tubular cast on, so the cast on edge is really pretty and, and stretchy. And this is like this uh, chunky hat. So this is the yarn that I used. Wool and the gang, crazy sexy wool. And the colorway is called brown sugar. And and this is a um, super chunky weight, 100% uh, wool yarn, really nice. And I used 10 millimeter needles, so it only took me about three hours to knit the whole whole hat. And I have a couple of skeins um, in different colors. I have them like really beautiful uh, light purple and then a uh, light pink with with like these like speckles of the same yarn and so I'm going going to do a couple of more of these chunky hats. It's such such a fun uh quick quick project and so that's what I've been um that all oh, other oh, that's like the things that I have done. So I told you I have a lot lot of new things to show you and this is the thing that I was trying to work here uh, before Luna interrupted me. Uh, so I was going to to continue working on this one. So this is the Odette pullover and show it to you. It's almost done, so I still have like the last centimeter of or two and then the tubular bind off. For, for the bottom hem and then it's ready and um, I can't even tell you how much I've been waiting uh, for this one to be finished and I had a couple of deadline things for the book and so on here in the middle that I had to had to do so I haven't been able to concentrate on this one as much that, uh, as I should have I only had like one sleeve left and then I had to um, undo the bottom ribbing and redo it because I wanted to make it a, a, a bit longer. It was a couple of centimeters too short um, to my liking. So every morning that I've been <laughs> getting dressed, um, I've been like thinking, of, I so much wish that uh, the black pullover is ready because I really, really, really want to wear it, and after um, that, it's it's finished. I'm hoping to finish it tonight because there's so little left to do. I know that this will be in very heavy rotation in my in my wardrobe because it's something that I really, really, really <laughs> want and need. And and I think in my next episode I will talk to you about how Instagram and 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 designing knitwear has changed my style but if you knew me um, a few years ago um, I was probably only wearing like black and gray and, and very muted colors 
So for me to not to own a black sweater, I don't even own a black cardigan at the moment. It feels really weird and it's something that I definitely want to, to fix. So I'm so excited about this black pullover. You can, <laughs> can't even tell you how, how super excited I am. And I'm going to write a pattern because this is like a super nice, very basic pullover with a little twist. So it started um, at, the, at the back and the back is worked first until, until um, at the armholes and then it's worked again from the front downwards and, and then down, down to the hem. And then um, I'm using the same short row um, sleeve cap uh, heel, heel, not short row heel, short row sleeve, sleeve cap um, that I have used, for example, for the Monica Geller and the Empress uh, tees. So it's a totally seamless pullover, even though it looks like it's it's seamed. And it has this um, double folded neckline, so it looks very, very neat and finished and, and polished and uh, put together. And so happy about this one. I'm calling it Odette because of the black swan, even though Odette is the white white swan, the white princess, and, and Odile is the, the black swan. But um, I like the name Odette more than I do Odile, so that's why. This is called Odette and I'm planning to do this in other colors. I kind of want to do it in very uh, uh, like misty gray also. So this is something that I'm so happy about even though you probably can't see anything <laughs> on, on the film but here, here you can see just threading the day that I have to try to take pattern photos of this one because um, black black knits are so hard to the photograph. Um, now I only have um, my knitting plans left to share with you. I already showed you this um, sock yarn or even though it's called everyday sweater but I'm gonna use it for socks so this was the same yarn that I used for the Hookie Season socks uh, because I really liked uh, working on this. So I'm going to use uh, the same same yarn for another pair of socks. And this is um, the Uncommon uh, Thread Everyday Sweater. This is the Colorway Manuscript. So I'm going to use them for another pair of uh, quite basic socks with some cables. I think I will make cables but I'm not promising anything and I have another uh, sock pattern in my mind that I want to do uh, by the by the end of the year so let's see. Um, I, I haven't settled on, on the yarn yet but I have this like really nice idea that I want to make and the next thing I will be casting on is um, this yarn from Richard Dice. Um, this is the Elder Base, so it's a 100% rumbled wool, and the colorway is called Chestnut. So you can see here. This is a new base from Richard Dice, and I got the chance to uh, try it out, and I promised to to make a pullover using it, and I've been uh, making swatches with this one. It's going to be a cabled pullover, so I'm really excited about that. But I kind of want to keep it secret a bit longer, so I'm not going to show you anything yet. I think in the next episode I will show you what, what uh, I'm making with this one, but just want to keep it uh, for, for a little while. I want to keep it still a secret. And the last thing I'll show you today, this has been um, in my stash for a bit over a year now, almost a year and a half. This is for uh, the West Yorkshire Spinners and this is their 100% um, Blue Fest Leicester um, base in, in Aran, Aran weight and this is the, the Off-White Ecru 
colorway and I'm gonna be using this for also for a pullover so there's something uh, that is knitted from top down and has a bit of brioche and some bubbles so it's something that I'm um, really excited to cast on some really nice idea that I have and so very, I really like this yarn so this is another pullover that I'm, I'm going to make I also have plans for um, I was thinking about making because I love the Helmi pullover this one so I was thinking about making a Helmi uh, cardigan with the same um, bubbles but going um, down the sides so I can have a bottom band here in the middle so that's something that I think I will also cast on very soon and I definitely need more cardigans I don't like knitting cardigans probably because you have to knit them flat and the other reason is because I hate um, finding the perfect buttons and I hate um, sewing on the buttons <laughs> But um, it's uh, something that I I want to want to make. I need I need a few cardigans. So probably after I have done um, especially this this one, then um, I'll try to to make more more cardigans. But yeah, I think that's everything I was going to talk to you today. Um. <laughs> Um, I can't come up uh, with anything else so I think that's that's it for today so I'll try to finish the ribbing tonight and tomorrow I can wear this uh, lovely pullover but yeah, bye!